and welcome to SL Productions and my review of Doctor Who Series 12 Part 1. So yes, five episodes of Series 12 have aired. Another five are still to air. In this video, I'll be discussing the first five episodes of Doctor Who Series 12, the 13th Doctor's second series as the Doctor. So yes, let's begin by discussing Fugitive of the Jadoon. Now this episode was probably one of the most shocking episodes of Doctor Who in a long time. So yes, first of all, the BBC announced that there was going to be a big reveal in this episode and a big return, and I assumed it would be something like the Daleks and Cybermen, which, I mean, is alright. It's not disappointing. It would just be a bit anticlimactic if it was one of those. As they've appeared so many times recently, the novelty has worn off a bit. But then, Captain Jack Harkness appeared out of nowhere. Yes, Captain Jack Harkness appeared. I'm so glad to see Captain Jack Harkness back on the screen. I've wanted him back for so long, and I was beginning to say to myself, if they don't bring him back now, they'll never bring him back, as John Bowman is getting a bit too old to play an immortal character, as he originally started playing Captain Jack Harkness 16 years ago now. Yes, 16 years, no, 15 years since Doctor Who Eternal. It was probably filmed about 16 years ago, so yeah, he couldn't really play a character with grey hair who's immortal and mentally for billions of years. So, then we had the reveal of the Doctor, the mysterious Doctor. Who is this new Doctor? Yes, when you thought the episode couldn't get any more shocking with Captain Jack returning, they throw in another incarnation of the Doctor in a mid-series episode as well, not a finale, a mid-series episode. And yes, the new Doctor, who is she? Is she even the Doctor? Because the Doctor can't recall her ever being the Doctor, if you know what I mean, it's a bit complicated, wibbly wobbly, timey wimey stuff, or is it an incarnation of the Doctor yet to come? It could be, like the Valyard, the Doctor didn't recognise the Valyard, the Valyard didn't really declare that they knew the past Doctor, so yeah, it could be another incarnation of the Valyard, the Valyard is known to survive the events of Trial of the Time Lord, so it could be the Doctor after the Valyard, or it could be a Morbius Doctor. There is a theory that the Morbius Doctors were before the actual Doctors, and then the Morbius Doctors were reincarnated into the current Doctor, if you know what I mean. Because of course the Doctor can only regenerate 12 times, and in the time of the Doctor it was revealed that the Doctor could only regenerate 12 times, so it kind of contradicts that if it is another incarnation of the Doctor, let's say the first Doctor, or there's a theory it's in between the second and third Doctor. So yes, that was very shocking, glad to see the Jadoon back as well. The episode wasn't the greatest plot, so I think it could have been executed a bit better, but it was full of shock. It was very good. Now let's move on to Nikola Tesla's Night of Terror, an historical episode of Doctor Who, the first one of the series. Spyfall did have a few elements of historic stuff, but this was the first historic episode. Thought this episode was, yes, it was good. It was a bit of fun. Very interesting to know about Nikola Tesla. The monster wasn't the best monster or the music, but the scenery and the acting was great in this episode as well. However, something I don't like about this series is the companions. They don't seem to do anything. They just seem to be tag-alongs. The Doctor's alright, but the companions just seem to be tag-alongs. They don't seem to do much. It seems to be the guest stars who do the stuff. So yes, that's not great, but I'm glad they've got an arc this series. This series 11 didn't have an arc. This series does have an arc, and it has been great so far. A lot of mystery about the Timeless Child, Captain Jack, the Cyberman, the new Doctor. It's all building up to a great finale. Now let's move on to Orphan 55. Now Orphan 55 was probably one of the worst episodes of the show. Yes, I am not exaggerating, it was probably one of the worst episodes of the show. Didn't like the CGI at all, I didn't like the scenery. There were a few good elements of this episode, I thought there was a bit of a mysterious element, but it just didn't feel right. What was that teddy bear thing? What on earth was that? That is so bad, so bad, that teddy bear thing, whatever that hyphen 33 is or something like that. Just, I, I want to forget about Orphan 55. Not a great episode. Now, finally, we move on to Spyfall. I don't know why I'm doing it in reverse. I just find it easier. So, yes, yeah, Spyfall Part 2, I thought, was better than Spyfall Part 1. As I thought, Spyfall Part 1, it just seemed a bit fast, in a way. But Spyfall Part 2 seemed to feel like Doctor Who. It hasn't really felt like Doctor Who since the 13th Doctor Who it began. And yeah, it was great, Spyfall Part 2, in my opinion. It felt like a proper adventure. And yeah, of course, the Master returning. There's a new Master as well in this series. How many elements of this series have they been? It's 
chaos in a way, but it's also good chaos. So yeah, the Master's Return, I like his betrayal, Saka Dwayne, something like that. And yeah, great actor in my opinion. He played Wavis Hussein in in Adventure in Space and Time, very good acting in that, and yeah, glad to see him back in the Doctor Who universe, so yeah, that was great, Lenny Henry was good in the first two episodes as well, I think he'll return, they left it open that he might return, and then of course there was Stephen Fry, who just died as soon as he came on screen, so that was a bit disappointing, but other than that, series 12 has been better than series 11, because series 11 didn't have an arc, and I think this episode, this series seems to have more action and more consequences, the Doctor's darker as well, not like the 11th Doctor, who was just too funny. Well, when she tried to be like a D11 Doctor, it didn't really work. But now it's a darker Doctor, it's a lot better. So yes, that is the end of this review, and until the next time, goodbye.